Hello and welcome to the translatorscafe.com channel. In this video, I will show you how to convert an old hard drive into a speaker. Why can we do this? Because speakers and hard drives have much in common. Let's have a look. There are magnets and moving voice coils. If a current flows through a coil, it creates a magnetic field around this coil. The coil is attracted to the magnet and it moves to the magnet or between magnets. Anything that is connected to this coil mechanically also moves. It can be a hard drive head stack assembly with heads and voice coil or it can be a speaker cone. If we change the direction of the electric current, the direction of the magnetic field in the coil will also be changed. The coil will move in the opposite direction. In the speaker, the amplified audio signal from this unit provides the electric current to move the coil and the speaker cone to create sound waves. As you can see, in the hard drive, the same thing happens. The amplified audio signal provides the electric current to move the coil, which, in turn, moves the hard drive heads. The heads are connected to the plastic film to create sound waves with more low frequencies. The head support arms create high frequency sounds. So, let us take an old hard disk drive and open it. You can clearly see its main parts, several discs or platters, the spindle to hold and spin them, the head arm to hold the read and write heads, the heads and the voice coil between the two strong magnets. The flex cable is connected to the heads. There are two wires in this cable that connect the voice coil to its driver. We will remove the connector and find the voice coil wires visually or using a multimeter. Voice coil resistance is about 5 to 40 ohms. We can connect or solder two wires to the coil terminals and connect them to the amplifier. It is better to check resistance one more time to be sure the wires were connected to the correct contacts. Now we will turn on the amplifier and here is the sound from this hard drive. Let us try to do some improvements to better reproduce low frequencies. We will try to make a simple speaker cone and mechanically connect it to the head arm. This sound is definitely better. By the way, do you know why hard disk drives are called hard? That's because in the old days there were floppy disk drives and diskettes in which information was stored on a thin flexible magnetic disk. Then hard drives appeared in which information was written on rigid, rapidly rotating disks, platters coated with magnetic material. And why this is called voice coil? That's because an older, huge, like washing machines hard disk drives, a solenoid voice coil linear actuator was used to move heads across the platter. Its coil was cylindrical, exactly like you can see in a loudspeaker, only bigger. Finally, let us try to make a sound using the spindle motor. We will connect one of its windings to the amplifier and start rotating the disc. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please check out other translatorscafe.com videos about the unit converter and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All translatorscafe.com videos are made in Russian and English. All videos are provided with subtitles in these languages, which allow using them to effectively study technical English as well as technical Russian.